Okay guys, 250 Chev straight six. I'm changing the valve seals. Now I've seen a bunch of videos this morning on how to do this and everybody has these complicated tools and air hoses and all kinds of stuff like that. So I just pushed the rope into the cylinder. I hooked a wire up to the starter so I could just bump the motor ahead. And then I, I made this thing right here. It took me about five minutes. The, the key though is I drilled a pilot hole here for the push rod to sit into. So there's one on each side, so I don't have to flip it over. Then you just put the nut on here. Easy peasy. No special tools, no nothing, just a simple piece of flat bar. And then I tighten it down. But what I do after I go down a bit is I just push the spring over because it's trying to walk it a bit just to keep it straight. Then I continue. The rope is holding the valve. One guy spins the motor over by hand with the rope in there. I don't like that because the, there's a flat part of the cylinder. Now I'm looking for my tweezers, which I cannot find. I must have dropped my tweezers. Oh, here they are. So then I just take my tweezers and I pop these out. Now I'm clumsy. So what I do is I stick these to a magnet and then I don't have to worry about bumping them and then losing them. So we just pop that out, put it on the magnet, undo this guy. Easy peasy. Take that off. Lift this out. The old seal was not in correctly, so it pushed down. So now we just grab a new seal out of the package here. Bear with me. I got oily fingers. Okay. So we just slip this back on, put this back on, put the nut back on. Tighten her down. Push that over a little bit. I like it to go down straight. I don't know if it really matters too much, but it's just a precaution. Okay, push the seal on. Then I took a little teeny screwdriver and I ground it so that it just sits right in there. Then I can pop that in. Not too hard. See, my spring is not centered, so it's fighting me a little bit here. That's probably why it's good to center that. Okay, I'll take my keeper, which is sitting on the magnet, and then I take my tweezers. And I set that in there, nice and easy. So I gotta go down more with this. And there she is. Next one. not in so I gotta go down a little more there we go well, this is being a little bit of a nuisance there we are there we are 
and loosen it. You can see how far you're able to push that spring down with this little tool. And that's it. Just repeat 12 times.